please tell me you found her. Not yet, but we're still searching. Yeah, well, Gabby and I were doing that again at first light. I was sure she'd be somewhere near the stables. Yeah, she always used to love horses. Well, at least she did when she lived here before, but she's changed since she's been away. You need to get more police out there looking. We don't have any more officers available, but a lot of the villagers have volunteered to join the search. What people usually do when there's a child missing. Well, supposing someone's kidnapped her? If you mean Jamie, he was out of the country before she left. He could have paid someone else to do it. Or she could have been in a road accident. We've checked the hospitals. There's no reports of any children being involved in road accidents. It's more likely she's run off somewhere. You, you said she was upset. Yeah, I guess I should have expected that, with Jamie and Hazel dripping poison about me. I should uh, get back out there. So you've drawn a blank too? There are plenty of people searching, Kim. We'll find her. Maybe she doesn't want to be found. Can you confirm this is Millie's toy? Yes, it's her unicorn. Where did you find it? In the village. So we're concentrating our search down there. Hey, maybe when she sees all those police, she'll go up to them if she's scared. I doubt it. Well, kids are taught to go to police if they need help. Why wouldn't Millie? Well, think about it. Her dad faked his own death, so she'd be used to him avoiding the police, and he's probably taught her to do the same. What a mess. She's a frightened child in a small village. If she's there, we'll find her. I'll let you know if there's any more news. She's right, they're gonna find her. Got half the village helping with the search. Hmm. I guess I should be grateful. Considering most of them hate my guts. Well, not everyone. It's okay, I know I've never been popular down there. I've never really tried to be. I'm good at deals. People, feelings, not so good. Hey, well, you and Will seem to be making go of it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But every time I've cared about somebody before, I've ended up losing them. It looks like it's Millie I'm losing this time. But don't say that. We've told you they're going to find her. Why are you so sure? Because I have to be. I couldn't face losing Thomas, and I know you feel exactly the same about Millie. Even if we do get her back, it's not going to be easy. She ran because I said bad things about Jamie. Yeah, I'm dreading having to explain all that to Thomas when he's old enough to ask questions about why his dad isn't here. Look, maybe we can help each other. Yeah, but I can't think about that right now. We've got to get Millie back first. Oh, she's tired after a night away and hungry because she hasn't eaten since yesterday. It, where did you find her? Well, to be honest, we didn't. She turned up at Delview. Oh, she lived there with her mum. Well, the important thing is she's safe now. Is she still at Delview? No, like I said, she was hungry, so Wendy's taking her to the cafe for some lunch. Right, we will go and collect her. No rush. Wendy thought a meal and familiar surroundings might help calm her down. I suppose it makes sense. She's still a bit upset. Because of what I said about Jamie? I'm sure she'll get over it. The most important thing is, she's safe. Oh, good to be bringing some good news for once. Will you uh, thank all the police who were searching for me? Believe me. The fact that Millie's been found safe is thanks enough. See ya. Silver, I thought you'd be more excited. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled we're getting her back, but I don't think it is over. A good meal, a bit of sleep, we can make a fresh start. You really think it's gonna be that easy? Hello, Jay. Done well with the sandwich, hasn't she? She has done well. You don't have to eat it all. Wendy. Ooh. I've uh, come to collect Millie. Yeah, well, I don't think that's a good idea. What? We have just managed to calm her down, so I think it would be better if she stays with me. I'm her grandmother. Yeah, I know that, but she doesn't want to be with you. I want to stay with Wendy. There, look. You, you've been told. Now, please, will you just leave us alone? She only feels that way because of the lies Jamie and Hazel fed her. That'll change. 
As soon as she sees how much we care for her. I still think she's better staying with me. I'm sorry, Millie. Wendy shouldn't have told you that because it's not possible. Yes, it is. And you can't stop her. Wrong. Her mother's dead. Her father's on the run. Her other grand's in hospital. Right now, I am the only family left for her to live with. Yeah. And she'd rather live with me. <laughs> Having been her dead mother's tenant does not qualify you as family. Try asking a policeman. There's plenty around. I'm still not letting you take her. Listen to yourselves. Millie's been through enough without you two fighting over her. Look, I'm sorry, love, but Kim's right. You don't have any legal claim. But look, if the police find out that you've been fighting over her, they might bring social services in. Now, I don't think either of you want that. No. No, so Kim needs to back off because all I want is what's best for Millie. And so do I. But right now, she is a confused, frightened little girl who's lost so much. She doesn't really know what she wants. Agreed. But what she really needs now, after everything she's been through, is a good night's sleep. We can sort out what happens next tomorrow. As long as she stays with me. <sighs> Tonight. But this isn't about one night. This is about the rest of her life. Whether you like it or not, she will always be my granddaughter. I should be the one that's caring for her, and I am not going to let her down.